I don't know about you guys, but I feel like there's nothing better than a lazy summer day. So I'm gonna be showing you what I do to get ready when I still wanna look somewhat put together. First things first, gotta get yourself out of bed, and that is the hardest part for me. I like to think that my cup of coffee in the morning is my reward for getting out of bed. Now when it's hot, I don't want a hot cup of coffee, so I like making an iced coffee with my Nespresso. I'm going to be using the hazelnut coffee pod today, and I just brew that directly over a full glass of ice. And since I'm kind of a hazelnut, get it? Cheesy joke. I'm using the Trader Joe's hazelnut coffee creamer, and this adds a really nice milky texture and also a little flavor. It's kind of like making a Starbucks drink at home, and I honestly think this tastes way better. All right, time for food because a girl's gonna to eat, especially in the morning. I have been using the Bare Naked Maplelicious Pecan Granola with the Silk Almond Milk Light, which is my favorite one. And depending on what fruit I have, I add that in. Today it's going to be a banana. So I just pour the granola in. This is very self-explanatory. You're going to see there isn't anything fancy going on. I slice up half of the banana and then I pour the almond milk over the top. I think the bananas work really well with this granola and that is how I make a quick and easy breakfast for summer. It's filling and also not going to make you sweat. Moving into skincare, I'm going to be using my First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser, which is basically my favorite face cleanser. And I just mix that with a little water, rub it on my face, and then I rinse it off. For moisturizer, I like using the Aveeno Smart Essentials Daily Nourishing Moisturizer. This has SPF 30 in it, it doesn't break you out, and it also smells really good. So I just put that all over my face. I've been using a new eye cream from Shiseido that I really, really love. This stuff is really hydrating, and I find that when you put makeup over the top, it just sits really nicely. And if you have a super dry under eye area like I do, this is an amazing eye cream. Guess what I'm using for primer? That's right, benefit the professional because it's awesome. So I just dot this onto my face and I use a padding and like smearing motion on my face and I find that just helps get it into your skin the best. Next I'm going to be using my NARS eyeshadow primer and I'm not using this in the way that you think I'm gonna be using this. I'm actually putting it underneath my eyes as a primer so my concealer lasts longer and does doesn't crease. The first concealer I'm going to be using is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Now I love this stuff for covering blemishes, discolorations, it's just amazing. It looks super natural, it doesn't break you out, it lasts all day, basically does everything you want a concealer to do. Next, I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Brightener for underneath the eyes, and this just brings a lot of light to your eye area. It makes you look more awake, and it covers dark circles as well. And I find that with the primer underneath, this stuff just stays in place all day. Now it's really important to set everything with a powder so it doesn't go slipping and sliding throughout the day as it gets really hot. So I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. This stuff is exactly what it says it is. If you have oily skin, you need to try this stuff out because it works so incredibly well and you just buff it into your skin. It looks really natural and keeps everything in place. For my brows, I am using the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil because it is, well, amazing. There's a brush on one end to comb through your brows and then the pencil on the other end and I just find that it creates really natural looking brows. For brow gel, I'm using my Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel which has been very loved. And this just keeps the shape in place all day so it doesn't get messed up. Now it's time to come in with an eyelash curler and curl those lashes. And for mascara, I'm using a new one today from Tarte. This is the Lights Camera Splashes Waterproof Mascara. And I really love this stuff. It keeps your lashes curled all day. It really adds volume and length but doesn't look clumpy. And it's super wet. And my lashes respond really well to to wet mascaras. So I just put this on my top and bottom lashes and you'll see that it makes your lashes look phenomenal. Right after I apply my blush though. <laughs> I'm using the new Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Captivating and this is a really pretty light peachy, slightly pink color and I'm just sweeping this across my cheeks to add a nice summery glow. 
Using an old favorite today, the NYC Sunny Bronzer. It's the perfect matte bronzer in my opinion and it costs like $3. So I like applying this onto the outer edges of my face, just kind of the areas where the sun would hit. And then I also make sure to bring it down onto my neck a little bit just so everything blends nicely. And for lips, I'm super excited because I'm using my friend Tanya Burr's lip gloss in Picnic in the Park. She gave me this color because she knows I'm obsessed with corally pinks. And this is so pretty and it smells and tastes really, really good. So that is it for my makeup. And for daytime summer fragrance, I am in love with the Replica Beach Walk perfume. This stuff is so light and refreshing and I feel like it really just captures the essence of summer. And for my hair, I'm just just keeping it nice and natural today. Okay, let's move on into my outfit. I have on a top from Forever 21, shorts from Abercrombie & Fitch, and sandals from Target. So the top is a personal favorite of mine. I think it's just really funny. And then my bag is super cool because it's see-through and I got it from Victoria's Secret. I'm very excited about it. My sunglasses are colorful, bright, and fun for summer. These are from Forever 21 and I've been wearing them a ton. And then my nails, I got my nails done at this salon called Camellia Nails in Manhattan Beach and they did such an amazing job. And then when it gets a little chilly, it's nice to have a hoodie. And this one is from Aviator Nation in Venice Beach. So that is going to be it for my video today. And wherever you are in the world, I am sending you lots of California sunshine. And I'll see you later.